In this video, we are discussing the axiom of time. Time is a phenomena that can be divided into two segments. And the axiom is, is time merely a perception or a calculation? In the Hindu religion, time is both a calculation and a perception. When it comes to the god Brahma, who lives for a hundred years, what the Hindus are actually saying is that he lives for well over 2,000 years, human years. And there are segments and quantifications of Brahma's perception of time and how he lives time. But there's also another school of thought in Hinduism where time is simply a calculation and that the calculation is divided into three and that is the earth spinning to create day, the moon spinning around the earth to create the month, and then the sun and the moon, sorry, the earth and the moon spinning around the sun or rotating around the sun to create the years. Now, when it gets into the days and nights, it gets into further calculations, which I will not get involved with because some of the mathematical calculations are way too complex to understand because they're having the time by a certain increment that they've developed. Now, in the West, our perception of time is simply calculation of the sun to create the day. And as we go through more of a scientific phenomena of what time is, it's based off of various mathematical formulas that have to do with quantum physics. Now, for me, in answering this axiom, the perception of time is really the perception of growth and decay. Sorry, growth, life, then decay. What we see is when a plant grows or when a child is born or becomes into being as an adult, that's its growth pattern. Its life pattern is from a certain age to another certain age. And then the death pattern is when it finally loses breath and decay is when the body becomes something else, whether it's ash in the cremation pyre or soil in the planet. That's our perception of time. We perceive time in those three modes of growth, life, and decay. Now, decay can blend into life. We see it in its very simplest form is called getting older. And just by the same thought, growth can also bleed into life as well when we also get older and as we move through time. So that's perception. Now with calculation of time, the biggest calculation that we have is not necessarily starting in the middle of the night, but starting with the sunrise. We see the sunrise every day. That's sort of the birth of time. And when it sets, time continues into what we call night. And only when the sun rises again do we start over with the calculation of time. Human beings have been calculating time for hundreds, if not thousands of years, thousands upon thousands of years. We have monuments in Great Britain that are all specifically geared towards understanding what time is when it comes to the sun. Now, whether or not time can actually be controlled or whether or not we can move through time doesn't actually happen unless you want to create an alternate reality. And this comes from physics. Now, what I mean is 
we live on this timeline, but in order to change a timeline, what really happens is you create another reality. And that reality has the change in it. We as human beings do not have the technology nor the power to create alternate realities. <laughs> so the past or what we perceive as the past is unchanging. The future is unknown. The present is always in a state of flux. We as human beings reside in two spheres. We reside in the sphere of growth and decay, and also the sphere of flux, which would be called the present. And the only thing that we actually know in time is the present. We don't have a very clear idea of what the future will bring. And in actuality, we have very little perception of the past, except for what we have written down, what we have recorded and what we can go back to. And with technology, the recording of the past, sorry, the recording of the present to become the past has gotten better and better and better over the years. So to answer the question, is time perception or calculation, depending on how you view the world around you, whether it's from a scientific perspective or from a more religious, spiritual perspective, that answer is going to come about in different ways. For me, time is both a perception and a calculation. We perceive time every day in this state of flux. And we calculate time every day with the rising and the setting of the sun. Anyways, that's my philosophy on time.